Greetings, Blade Lovers. Are we seeing double today? Well, not really. Because we've got different colors on these knives, but believe it or not, and I'm sure you believe it, it's the same model. Different numbers, but they're both Kubi Nova. So it's Kubi time again. And I just got in the black blade with the yellow handle. It's an interesting yellow. I'm going to show that to you in a moment. But I figure for comparison, since I did a review on this one, which is in a titanium handle with a D2 blade, uh, the other is in the G10 handle is a liner lock. This one's a frame lock, titanium clip, etc. Both very nice, smooth knives. But I'm going to put the titanium aside for the moment. By the way, the titanium comes up as the model 235F. I don't have a KU or a KB in front of that on the box. And this one comes up as that. Okay? So uh, we have an interesting color here that I have not um, seen before. It reminds me of natural G10, except it is yellow colored instead of green, but it is somewhat translucent. It is heavily weight relieved with uh, lots of skeletonizing inside. And uh, deep carry clip, which is a switchable clip, hooray, with flat head screws clip that's not inset but the screws are flat so that's almost as satisfying it has a terrific action on it right out of the box D2 blade as I said may or may not like that um, my take on it again is uh, we're just tired of hearing D2 because that's been the budget steal for a long long time but it uh, at one point was even a premium steal in custom knives and others so how about that? I got this one, I must say, even though I had the other, mainly for the color combo of that blacked out blade with this um, translucent yellow handle. It's real interesting. Uh, branded only with the name Kubi and the knife steel. I think it's an in-house design. Nice deep carry clip. And um, flipper tab that's, I would say, like a medium height. Jimped on the front, set slightly ahead of the pivot, which always gives us good ability to fire that. Um, got a usable finger choil on the blade. It's, um, they, don't, they didn't walk that heel of the blade back, that termination back, like we see on some, so be careful, it's still a point but you can fit your finger in there sideways and pinch grip. Uh, we have a nice aggressive jimping for a short run on the spine of the blade. And um, why not do some measurements? I was going to read them off the uh, Kubi site, but we'll just do them. It's a larger size knife. Comes in at, uh, we'll call it 8.6 inches overall. And we have a blade length, if we measure it right to the handle, of like, um, uh, I'm going to call that 8.7 instead of 8.75. Did I say 8? 3. 3.7, okay. Not good if you get the first number wrong. 3.7 inch blade. For thicknesses... We have a relatively medium thin blade stock of exactly three millimeters. Handle thickness 0.52 and a weight of 
4.139, call that a 4.14 ounces. Not too bad. Still not the ounce per inch, but it is not a heavy knife by any judgment, especially mine. Um, got lots of handle in uh, both directions. Interesting double ramp there. So uh, it's very comfortable in the uh, point down, edge out position. Wide open construction. We got uh, one, two, three pillars or standoffs there. And that last one looks as though it can be used as a lanyard pin. I would think, since the other two are larger. Interesting offset of that yellow and, uh, and black, kind of like what um, is happening with the yellow and green, or the, uh, not yellow and green, the black and um, JG10. Let's look at it next to the Benchmade Freak. It's going to be pretty close to the same size. Yep, exactly. Just about the same height as well. A little smaller, Griptilian. It's going to be a good deal bigger than the Griptilian. And let's bring out the Rat 1. It is. Rat 1 is uh, edging it out just a little bit. So very comparable size. Again, it is a larger knife. I feel a great EDC type blade. High, flat grind with a fine edge. I haven't been measuring edges. It's a little tough in front of the camera, but uh, might be something I can start doing off camera for you guys. All in all, um, this was an Amazon purchase, and I'll see if I can get you the uh, price that was paid at Amazon. I'll put the Amazon link in the description. Looking this up real quick, and let's see what I paid. Come on. Okay, here we go. Kubinova is uh, coming in at $48.99 on Amazon. And you can see um, a lot of different color combos there. Look at that. Get like an orange, get a tan, get a full black, get a black with a natural blade. Lots of options for under 50 bucks. So, you know, falling right in there with, uh, I would say, the earlier Dam Designs knives probably give you a little more heft and, um, and build than this. But still, uh, you know, this is right in there with, like, Petrified Fish and some of those um, comparable to a lot of the... Uh, mid-priced budget uh, line from uh, Best Tech and what have you. So, uh, Civivi. In fact, I was going to get the Civivi uh, Asticus out. This is about the same size as that. Kind of, in some regards, reminds me of the Civivi Asticus. Construction is very similar with a lot of weight relieving and the thinner G10 handles. So, uh, again, this is the new, if you will, Kubi Nova. Excellent EDC knife. I think you would like it. Locks up tight. No problems with lock rock or blade play there. This has not been adjusted. And um, opens and closes just fine. Uh, detent. Can we fail it? Not that time. Not that time either. So... Really decent detent. Um, I don't evaluate detents with numbers. 
I'll just kind of give you uh, my description of how it feels. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. This old sword is signing out.